right, here we go guys. Today's the day. Um, it's not my last paint that we're gonna lay down on this tractor, but it's pretty darn close. So uh, I gotta do the hoods. I'm gonna do them completely separate so they're perfect. And then I gotta do the white. And uh, other than that, we're getting there. So uh, just put together a short video, just so you guys know where we're at on the tractor. If you're following along with it um I, I made another video i never posted it i figured it was exactly the same as the first one so um i guess other than that i figured out a little bit more about mixing this stuff i did switch back to the eight to one to one um seems to lay down pretty good my only issue that um it's a little bit too hard like when you tighten a bolt it like shatters so i cut back a little on the hardener hopefully that fixes it if anybody that watches this knows anything about that issue please uh fill me in like i said i'm i'm learning and everybody else can learn from it too if you make comments if people read it i know i'm really not a big channel but you never know people might watch it so um but i guess here we go we're gonna we got the air compressor warming up getting the uh, air pressure built up for me and we're gonna shoot everything i got the tractor pretty well put kind of together um that's about as far together as i would like to paint it at so we're going to go ahead and go over it with uh one more good coat make it nice and shiny um i dig some i dug some stuff out that i forgot about and i've got other pieces so i would say it's going to be about probably three pots of paint is what we're going to end up putting down on this so but oh, and then we got to get it up uh up in the air and get the wheels on it so i'm trying to get all this done so we can do that tomorrow or saturday because i'd really like to get this thing inside it's been sitting out way too long so i guess with that being said uh we got the tractor three points some weights uh, a couple miscellaneous parts on that rack battery boxes the fenders which these fenders are in horrible shape and I decided for the money I'm getting paid to do it, I've got to stop somewhere. So um, I guess if he wants the fenders done better, I guess they can come back at a later date and we can work on those. So, but anyway, I'll uh, once I get the gun more or get the uh, air build up and get the gun out, we will uh, 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 we'll see some more. Catch you in a bit.
all right guys we're we got her pretty well covered um to recap the day whoo golly anyway uh just gonna wrap our air hose and stuff up here i guess maybe i'll just set you up there and i'll just yak uh winding the air hose up uh everything's turning out really good everything that's out there should be the last coat except for the fenders there's some ugly fenders i'll give it that very very ugly fenders so but whatever they look shiny you're not going to see the tops of them because the high crop's so tall but just walk out here and take a peek i don't know you can kind of see the shine to them but you look at the top of them man they're beat up and i just do where you where do you stop so so there's the fenders um probably wet sand them do them one more time battery boxes all this stuff i'm done with it i'm done with all that crap come over here i got the tractor she's pretty well eh, the sun's not gonna help me i think the tractor's done uh hopefully this uh either tomorrow or saturday i can get the wheels on it and uh get it in the shop so there it is hopefully we don't bore anybody um as always thanks again for watching i'm gonna quit rambling because i think that chases people away i guess so. so so there it is don't forget to like and subscribe and you guys have a great evening